In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up a SpeedFusion VPN using the Balance 20X and the Max HD2. Before we get started, let me briefly explain the network topology. First, you need two devices that are capable of using SpeedFusion with a public IP on at least one WAN connection. If it isn't a static public IP, you must register it with a supported DDNS service, allowing you to create SpeedFusion to the WAN DDNS host name. Now, let me briefly explain how our SpeedFusion technology works so that you can fully understand how the SpeedFusion VPN works. SpeedFusion is a bonded VPN technology that allows you to aggregate multiple internet connections together to create session persistent and reliable VPN connections between endpoints. Our unique SpeedFusion technology is the culmination of the most advanced network technologies currently available. Our SpeedFusion technology can enhance all aspects of your network connectivity for both your personal and business needs. To seamlessly transfer from a primary connection to a secondary backup connection without any noticeable interruptions, our hot failover technology has got you covered. To aggregate your multiple internet connections together and combine their individual bandwidths, you can utilize our bandwidth bonding technology. You can also create a jitter-free data stream for experiencing smooth and uninterrupted Zoom calls and team meetings with our WAN smoothing technology. To have access to these SpeedFusion features, you must first achieve two endpoints to create a SpeedFusion tunnel. These two endpoints are usually two physical peplink devices. If two peplink devices aren't available, then an alternative is to use SpeedFusion Connect Protect, also known as SFC Protect or you can also use Fusion Hub. These are highly affordable and versatile subscription services provided by Peplink. The key difference between both of these is that SFC Protect provides SpeedFusion as a service, while Fusion Hub accomplishes this as a software appliance. Essentially, these services act as or give you access to virtual endpoints, allowing you to create SpeedFusion tunnels with just one physical Peplink device. SFC Protect is a service that gives you access to Peplink hosted virtual endpoints all around the world. Fusion Hub, on the other hand, is another alternative, which can allow you to utilize SpeedFusion with your Peplink device and an existing cloud-based service. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up a SpeedFusion VPN between two physical endpoints, my Balance 20X and my Max HD2. Let's get started now. As you can see, I have two in control tabs open one for the Balance 20X and another for the Max HD2. Also, I have assigned a local ID to both devices so that both devices can identify each other. This should be done under the Speed Fusion VPN Local ID section, as shown over here. The default local ID is usually the model name combined with the device serial number. So first, I'll start by going to the tab for the balance model and create a new profile under the remote addresses section. There are two items that you must input in order to have access to the PEP VPN. This includes the name and the remote ID and pre-shared key. The remote ID for me is the local ID for my Max HD2 device, which can be found on the advanced page of my second tab. The remote IP address or host name is optional. Now you can head over to the traffic distribution section right below. For the latest firmware, 8.3.0, we use the dynamic weighted bonding as the default setting. We also offer additional options for experts with specific configurations in mind. For the WAN connection priority section, the default setting is for all the WANs to join the SpeedFusion VPN. If your device supports VPN bandwidth bonding, then you can assign multiple WANs with the same priority. Otherwise, it supports hot failover only. Once that is complete, you can click Save and then click Apply Changes. Now we can move on to setting up the Max HD2. Similar to the first device, you need to create a VPN profile so that you can connect to the first device, which in this case is the Balance 20X. The items that you have to input include the name, remote ID and pre-shared key, and finally, the remote IP address or host name. This time, the remote IP addresses or host names is not optional because the second device needs to find the VPN hub. The IP addresses can be found on the first tab under the WAN connection status section. Once that is complete, click Save and Apply Changes. Your SpeedFusion VPN should be good to go now.
To determine whether you have successfully set up the Speed Fusion VPN, head over to the dashboard. Under the Speed Fusion VPN tab, you will be able to see whether the connection has been established. In order to analyze the performance of the Speed Fusion VPN on each device, you can conduct a Speed Fusion VPN test separately. This test can help you to monitor the RX, TX, loss rate, and latency change for an individual device during the test.